Hi, and welcome to the Eagle First Short Sale Department Submission and Program Training. What we're going to be reviewing today is the processing overview, roles of the agent setup and processor, how to submit a file to the short sale department, and the communication, uh, the process, the transition, how to properly set up the client for short sale department to contact them. Uh, Eagle First now has an in-house short sale processing solution for all of its agents and brokers and affiliates. And um, we're going to show you exactly how that works, and how to submit it, and how to make your life easy. Okay, we're going to also cover some other procedural items. So the short sale department, okay, it has two divisions. It has a setup team that is going to work with you and your sellers to collect all the documents, to figure out whether it will be HAFA or co-op, to get all of the bank documents in there, okay, and, one, and set checklists, send the welcome letters, make it a really nice transaction for your seller, okay. They've done thousands of these, all right, and then the next thing is, is once everything's in, everything's cleared off of the checklist and the portal, it's going to be assigned to a negotiator. Certain negotiators on the short sale team have, have different strengths, like some like to do FHA, some like to do B of A and Wells or Equator Files. So depending on uh, who the bank is, et cetera, uh, will, or what type of loan it is, uh, will determine who your negotiator is, but you'll be properly introduced. Okay, so how do I get in touch with the short sale team? Uh, very easily, okay. Uh, to log into the short sale portal, it's Eagle First, www.eaglefirstrealty.sssmain.com. Jot that down somewhere. Put it in your favorites. The short sale hotline, okay, for you to call and ask processing questions. You need a bank app, etc. cetera, is 760-772-3131, and that is Liz. If Liz is not there, call Sarah at 406-558-4810. Uh, they work for you in the short sale department. They're uh, uh, you can reach them at those phone numbers or just email them, okay, at shortsell at eaglefirstrealty.com. All right, that's there. The short sale fax hotline is 866-581-1190. If ever there is a different fax number that you'll need to have, we'll be sure to get that to you. My direct line, my name is Jason Baker. I'm an Eagle First agent out of Southern California. Uh, I have uh, myself and my team have processed over 2,000 short sales, and my direct phone line is 406-219-3345. I live in Montana part of the year, especially during the hot part of the year, uh, and for mentoring and short sale questions. And it's best to email me at jason at shortsalemail.com. If you have any questions about short sales, feel free. Okay, I'm here to help the team, and I'm here to help Eagle First succeed. Your negotiator will email their contact info to you once they're assigned the file. So we don't, we don't know which uh, negotiator you're going to use, so we don't tell you that up front, but you'll get to know all of them. Okay? Software support, 877-770-6274. So let's talk about who does what. Okay? The setup team and what their role is. They're going to become your friend. Okay? Uh, once the setup team is hired to uh, move forward, they're going to reach out to the LA or listing agent to get the file details once assigned. They're going to set checklist items and forward all the documents, all of the addendums, 4506Ts, again, bank apps, RMAs, whatever it may be, over to the appropriate parties. When they do reach out, uh, as they, they reach out as the listing agent's assistant, okay, and they're there to assist the listing agent to collect the short sale docs from everybody, seller, escrow, title, estimated HUD, buyers, lenders, uh, you know, uh, selling agents, they, they get everything from everybody that's on that checklist that they initially set, uh, uh, set up. And they call on your behalf. They look as if they're your team member. They are calling from Eagle First anyways, but they're, uh, they're calling as uh, 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 Jane Doe's uh, assistant at Eagle First Realty, okay? So it really gives you a, a great look and, and a great professional feel, okay? They will get all these docs, and they will upload everything into the Eagle First short sale portal, and then they'll stack the file. Uh, once it's all stacked and everything's in, they're going to go ahead and assign it to the negotiation team, all right? So let's talk about the negotiators. We call them processors. Other people call them negotiators. Uh, but negotiator processor roles. They're going to receive the file from the setup team once it's whacked and stacked, as we say. They're going to submit the file to the lender. They're going to, they're going to follow up every three days, and they are going to make you aware of what's going on. Now, when they call every three days, they go on the software and they make a note. That note is then broadcast around to everybody via a public note. So you're getting constant updates as what's going on in your file every three days. If it doesn't happen every three days, please give me a call or shoot me an email at the number that we went over on the, a couple slides ago. Okay? So they're going to follow up every day and post a note inside the software. You're going to get an email 
or you can log in and see the notes. If you're not getting emails, something's wrong, let your seller or your process, let your processor or your negotiator know. Okay? Uh, we will negotiate all counter offers after checking with the listing agent. I'm never going to counter back without first speaking with you. All right, it's not going to happen. Uh, we'll review all approvals for deficiency release. Obviously, in California, that's a, uh, uh, that happens automatically, whether it's in there or not, uh, or the best possible outcome, and we will consult with the listing agent. So we're not going to call your seller and go, hey, uh, we need five grand more, and then call your buyer. We don't do that. You'll still need to do that. We'll cover that with you and help you. Uh, we'll help you come up with the right way to approach the buyer's agent if you're having a little issue with that, okay? Now, the next thing that we do is we get all HUD approvals. And so once it's approved and it's going to closing, we'll get the HUDs approved, the final HUDs approved. We'll work with closing officer to close the file, update HUDs, et cetera. What we don't do is we're not your transaction coordinator. We're not going to do your payroll. We're not going to make stuff in win forms, et cetera. That's not what we do. We do everything short sale, okay? And then we're going to close the file, all right? So, what you need to do to get started in this, all right, uh, is to request a login, okay? So what you need to do, you need to be able to access the software in order to submit a file, to upload docs to the file that we ask you for on the checklist, to communicate with setup and processing team, to read and get updates, and to respond to tasks that you're given, all right? So if you would like to participate in the program, uh, you need to uh, talk to Matthew about if there's going to be any uh, monthly costs, and then email short sale at eaglefirstrealty.com. Okay? Uh, we'll need your first and last name, your address, all phone and fax numbers, and then your email address, and we can get you a login after getting the okay from Matthew. You'll get an email with all that stuff, so it will be abundantly clear, and you can just click it. Okay, so Jason, I've got a file. What do I do? I've got my login. I'm ready to go. Hurry up. I don't want to process this thing. What do I do? The first thing you need to do is to initiate a file and add the seller info. All right, start a short sale file inside of Eagle First Portal. No, this, then, so how does that work? What do I do? Just log in, okay, on the pipeline, click New Short Sale File. You'll see it up on top. Enter all the seller contact info, and then enter the seller email. Make sure to choose Restricted Access for them. Your setup team is going to receive an email, and will give you a call to begin the process. So your setup team is going to receive an email, give you a call, and begin the process. All right, so I put in all my seller's information. Now what do I do? Super easy. All you need to do, okay, is start a short sale file inside the Eagle First portal. Uh, once you're done adding the seller info on the interview tab, go ahead and click over to the contacts tab, all right? And once you're in the contacts tab, uh, go ahead and throw yourself in there as a listing agent if that's your role. And then the most important thing so that setup knows that there's something for them is choose setup as the processor from the drop-down menu, okay? Setup will call and email you, and we'll get ready to set up the file. Setup's also going to choose the negotiator when the time comes, as I mentioned before. Okay. The third thing you need to do is add a private note. Tell us about the file. Okay. We need to know any file particulars. Click on the notes, and it says add note. Click private note. Okay. Do not use public notes because everybody will get that. This seller is a little difficult. Yeah, don't put that in there. Okay. Uh, describe in detail what's going on with the file so we have it on record, i.e., Hey, the seller wants to be called in the evening. They're considering a BK. You know, maybe you can, um, you know, give me a little insight on that or whatever. Okay, just line it up right for us so that we're st we start the communication early. There's nothing worse than when people don't communicate. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and watch a quick video on exactly how this works, and I'll see you after that. Uh, back here at the PowerPoint. And thanks for tuning in to Eagle First Realty short sale training. Eagle First Realty has decided to, because of high demand, offer in-house processing solution uh, to their agents and brokers. You will now be able to, through an online portal, submit short sale files to an in-house short sale team uh, at e right at Eagle First Realty. So we're going to show you today exactly how to submit a file to the short sale processing center so that it can be handled professionally. The short sale team has handled over 2,000 short sales collectively. Uh, they have an incredible setup staff and incredible processors that just know what to do in every single situation. Okay? So the first thing that you need to do in, that we went over in the PowerPoint was get your logins. Once you have your logins, you're going to be able to come to eaglefirstrealty.sssmain.com that we've already seen. Go ahead and throw in your email and your password and click log in. Once you've logged in, I want you to go to the top, click on pipeline, and then click new file. What will happen next is this will pop up. I want you to choose short sale. I want you to put in the borrower's name. And then I want you to put in their street address only. You do not need to put a town at this point. And click save.
you will be brought directly inside of the short sale portal and the short sale application. Next, I want you to enter their email. I want you to put them as restricted users so that they can get email to log in. I want you to enter their phone numbers, their, their mailing address, and make sure that their permissions are checked. Just give them access to public notes. And then hit save. Now that you're done entering the seller's information, you need to choose Setup as the processor. So go ahead over to the Contacts tab. Once you're on the Contacts tab, it's probably a good idea if you're the listing agent to go ahead and choose your name from the drop-down menu under Listing Agent. Here, pick your name from the list. And once you're done adding your name as the listing agent, go ahead up here to Processor and choose Setup Team from the drop-down menu. And I'll show you how to do that now. Click Processor, click the drop-down menu, click Setup Team, and click Save. It auto-populates all of their information. As soon as you add somebody as a contact, if their email's in there and you've given them access, it'll email them and say, you are now associated with this file. So the processing or setup team, Sarah and Liz, were just sent an email that says, hey, you've got a file that you need to set up. What they're going to do first is they're going to come into the file, look at everything, see what's there or what isn't there, and then give you a call. It's a good idea, however, to tell them a little bit about the file, and where you would do that is at Notes. So the next thing that you need to do, or step three, is just go ahead and click on Notes. If there's anything about the file that you would like your setup team to know, like don't call the seller at work, uh, they went BK, so you might need this or you might need that, or there's three loans or there's two loans or there's one loan, anything that you know about the file, go ahead and throw that into a private note. So click Post New Note, Private Note, and enter your note. Simply click Save, and the setup team and everybody that's allowed to get private notes will be emailed that, and it's there always inside of the file. It keeps a running tally of everything that's going on. So this is how you would know or that the setup team would know what to look for and any of the little things that could potentially be happening within the file. So that's it. Step one, two, three. Step one, enter your seller's information under this tab here. Go over to contacts, add yourself and uh, setup team as the processor, and then go and put any little file notes inside of notes. And we will contact you and take it from there. We'll see you back at the PowerPoint. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video. All right, now I want to go over what your on-demand short sale team does after files are signed. We're going to, again, we're going to reach out to you first. I know I've said that before, but it's very important to open up a line of communication. And then once you're comfortable with it, we're going to reach out to your seller after we discuss strategy. Hey, maybe they'll qualify for half a, or maybe no, they won't because they haven't been living there or something like that. Okay, uh, then a welcome package will go out to your seller. Some sellers want to go online and finish the application. Some of them just want to fill out what we send them along with the welcome package. It, either way is fine, and it tells them exactly how that works. Then we're going to oversee the gathering of the short sale docs from the seller and other parties. Then the file will be pre-qualified. We'll set the price. The processing will cost and reach out to you for any other details. We may submit the file for pre-approved pricing if they qualify for half up, perhaps it's co-op. Uh, or we'll wait until an offer comes in. We'll determine that ahead of time. We work with you and your clients to get an offer, okay? And then once an offer comes in, we submit the file. If the file's already been submitted for half a co-op, okay, or to Chase List Assist or whatever else, uh, at that point in time, uh, we'll submit the offer docs, to, uh, which they'll combine with what we've already sent in. Okay, real easy. Uh, the big thing and what people love about the short sale department at Eagle First is they'll be, you're going to get a communication every three days via email and notes. Okay? We don't call you and say, here's what's going on. You can call us, uh, but the best way to interact, since everybody's always on the phone, obviously, is email or log into the system. Every time they make a call to the lender, they have to put a note in, and they do that every three days. Okay? If there's a, a long weekend or something, sometimes it's, uh, it only happens once in a week, but then that will mean the next week it will happen twice. Okay, and then we close the file, and you can spend your commission all in one place. <laughs> okay, when we call out, we call out from Eagle First. We, identif we identify ourselves as your assistant from Eagle First Realty. Uh, uh, all authorizations are in Eagle First name. Okay, we act as your own personal short sale team, making you look like a pro. Now, Eagle First processing fees. Okay, 
We're going to go over the costs. It depends on what the loan amount is, but let's take a look at that. Check with Matthew. Certain people have monthly tech costs, okay? They vary case by case, so work that out with Matthew. The setup cost, okay, that's for access to the portal. The setup cost, it, uh, when you submit a file to the setup team, okay, when you choose setup in the, in the dropdown and they look the file over and it's a file that can be done, uh, it'll be $100 at the file initiation of the software. If they look at it and say, look, there's five liens, there's an IRS lien, there's $20 million in HOA fees, et cetera, and the file is just not going to go anywhere, obviously no, fi no, no, no uh, setup fee. If they're not going to set it up, they're not going to charge anything. Okay? Processing costs. If it's less than $100,000, uh, the sale price, it's eight, so it's $995 total, but it's eight, nine, $895 additional at, on top of the $100 that was already paid at the beginning. That's, only, that's paid at closing only if the file closes. All of these are. There's an additional $1,195 due if the loan is between $100,000 and $1 and $499, $999. And anything over $500,000 is $1,495 additional on top of the $100. Okay? We understand that there are other processing companies out there. A lot of them haven't been doing this for a long time. A lot of them are attorneys. A lot of them take money off of the net, thereby making it harder to close. Okay, And what you want is an in-house solution, something that's easy. It can be done internally. It's from Eagle First. And people hate being pawned off on somebody that isn't you. They want to work with you and your team. And this is the perfect way to do that. So if you're interested, just go ahead again and email short sale at eaglefirstrealty.com and we'll get you logins and go ahead and give Matthew a call and tell him what you think. Okay, this is Jason Baker. I'm signing out. If you have any questions, again, you can reach me at jason at short sale mail or 406-219-3345. Make it a great day and thank you for your time.